Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today we're having a special program called Exploring Art and Making Memories. And this is a program for individuals and their caretakers who have early onset uh, Alzheimer's or dementia. How do you notice that all of these works have in common? A lot of museums are doing work now. It began with MoMA and they did a special program and training uh, participants to call Meet Me at MoMA. We had general conversation where we tried to elicit different responses from the participants and then we broke into small groups and did a variety of close looking uh, where you can really see the details and it gives participants an opportunity to maybe if they're shy when they're talking, you know, when they're asked to speak in a group, but with their caretakers, they can feel more comfortable. Who's the picture of the man in black and white? That's my grandfather's book. That's my grandfather's book. The uh, special activity that we had was with artist Bill Grabowski. He's a photographer that does a lot of work with uh, family photos. I asked all the participants to send me uh, photographs of their older family life. I scanned all the photographs in for them, printed them in color, and, and then Bill spoke with everybody about different ways to arrange and think about the photographs. This gentleman over here looks like my uncle, but it could be him. You know what? It has to be my grandfather. I, I never seen my grandfather when he was 22. Some years back, I was cleaning out my parents' basement, and I came across uh, some buried treasure. It was a box of old family photos, and I was really touched by them, and I wanted to teach myself how to restore them. And after that, I decided to start creating artwork that celebrates my family. And, and something that we could think about, too, when we're creating our artwork, we don't have to put the pieces straight up and down. Uh, our memories lag. Uh, and jag in, in different ways and oftentimes uh, people who are experiencing issues um, with things that are happening happening at the moment uh, have very strong and vivid memories of things in the past and I think this will help uh, focus and preserve uh, the memories that they have to continue to last longer. Um, and we're going to take a seat and we're going to, the, to the get started with the first part of our, of our program. We are going to spend time talking about some artwork. It has been, uh, has been determined that when uh, you do engage in the creative arts, you know, uh, memories are sparked and um, expressive language comes much more easily. Can anyone tell what location this is? Does this look familiar to anybody? Well, we started off looking at landscapes, discussing the different things you can learn, looking at different kinds of landscapes. And then we we're thinking about how they can connect that with the five senses, how you can feel things, see things, um, hear things, and also connecting with memories of places that they've been. Um, have you been to Niagara Falls? Have you been to Grand Canyon? That's where some of the landscapes were. That is maybe why you think it's a little bit, it was a little bit dead. <laughs> We will have more um, programs of this nature throughout the year. We're going to hold four each year as of right now. And we're also speaking with other museums like the Whaling Museum and Educational Center is actually here today. And they came to watch and they're thinking about the possibility of also being a location that the group can come to and enjoy their museum as well. So we will definitely be continuing it and growing it. 